Finally, after all the product research, supplier sourcing, shipping logistics, you're at the point of advertising your product on Amazon. There's a lot of details to unpack from all the different campaign types and really what will work best for your specific product or niche. Today, let's take a deep dive into Amazon's paid per click campaigns or more commonly known as Amazon PPC and what it takes to be successful when first launching your product on Amazon. Let's start by logging into your Seller Central account and navigating to the left-hand side and clicking on this drop-down box. Next, click on Advertising and then again on Campaign Manager. You'll be brought to this page that is gonna allow you to see the different data within your past campaigns. To create your campaign, click the blue Campaign button here and you'll be brought to this page where you're gonna choose the campaign type you wanna use. If you aren't brand registered, you'll only be able to see the first box that is the sponsored products campaign. If you are brand registered, you'll have access to the two other campaign types, which are sponsored brands and sponsored display. For this example, we're gonna use the sponsored products as that's what I use and I've had the best success with. After clicking continue, you're gonna be brought to this page here. Your first step is to name the campaign here under the ad group name. I like to add the product name and date as well. Underneath the ad group name, you're gonna see a product section. This is where you're going to input the ASIN of your product. Once you add a product to your Amazon inventory, Amazon is automatically gonna generate a unique ASIN to help identify your product. There's a few different ways to find your ASIN. We'll go through that now. First, go onto the listing itself and scroll to the product information. From here, you should be able to copy the ASIN go back to the campaign manager and paste it in here in the enter list tab. Once you've done that, the campaign will be advertising this specific ASIN. After we've chosen the product, you'll scroll down and see the targeting section. Automatic targeting allows Amazon to control your PPC campaign and its strategy. I personally don't use automatic campaigns run by Amazon because it's basically like giving them a blank check and assuming they're gonna spend your budget efficiently. I think you're better off going through a strategy and a means to really find the best suited campaign for yourself. Instead, select the manual targeting tab. This is gonna allow you to have full control of the campaign strategy. From here, you're gonna select the product targeting option below that. I like to use this strategy over the more popular approach of keyword targeting just because it allows you to launch a product with few to no reviews and puts you in less of a disadvantage compared to your competitors who will be ranking higher in the search results. The overall goal of product targeting is to find the competitors within your niche who are doing the best. For instance, like this competitor here who has over 8,000 reviews and is doing almost 3,000 monthly sales. I'm gonna have my listing show up on theirs. Let me show you exactly what I mean by this. When you're on a specific listing and scroll down slightly, you'll see this products related to this item section. Basically, a product targeting will allow you to put your product here for a browsing shopper. Now, if you can make your product have some type of competitive edge over your competitor, maybe like a cheaper sales price, the likelihood of you winning that sale just drastically went up. This gives you a good advantage when first launching a product that you have no to little reviews and still being able to be identified by your customers. Now, under product targeting, select individual products and then enter list. Here is where you'll input the ASINs of your top competitors. I recommend you type in the most searched keywords into the Amazon search bar and find the sellers who have the most positive reviews and monthly sales. For this example, I'm gonna choose three of the top sellers within this niche and input their ASINs separated by a comma. Next, hit the target button and you'll see them show up here on the right-hand side and a bid price right next to them. These bids are what Amazon is recommending for you to win the bid and get the impression from a shopping customer. What I like to do here is increase these bids just slightly to give an advantage over other sellers who are using Amazon's recommended bid price. I keep it simple and increase between three to five cents per bid. Below here is a negative keyword targeting section. In this section, you're basically gonna put a keyword that you want for your product not to show up. If you're in a specific niche and you wanna make sure that outside words or other keywords don't bring up your search because those customers are less likely to buy your product, this is the section that you'll use for that. 
As we keep scrolling down, we're brought to the campaign bidding strategy. For this section, I like to select dynamic bids down only. Let's say I set my bids on a product targeting for 75 cents and the bid comes down to 65 cents. Amazon will work to your advantage and save you that extra 10 cents on that bid. For dynamic bids up and down, this allows Amazon to automatically go above that 75 cents on the bid if the price were to be higher. Finally, we're at the last section before we launch our campaign and have it approved. The campaign name really is to identify our campaign strategy when referring to it in the future. I'm going to name ours Product Targeting Dog Brace just for this example. For your start and end date of when you want your campaign to run, I like to choose between three to four weeks for the duration. For this example, let's just use three. Our last step is to establish the budget that we plan to use for our campaign. Now ultimately, this is up to you, what you're comfortable with and what you have set aside to budget for your product. For me personally, I like to be pretty aggressive when I'm first launching a product, so I'm gonna go over my exact strategy now. I like to start with what I expect to make in total revenue from my first batch. For this example, let's assume I order 100 units of the dog ACL brace and I'm planning on selling each unit for around $49.99. After selling all 100 units, I will do around $5,000 in sales. Now just to be clear, this is not profit, it's just what we'll see from total sales. Next, I like to take around 10 to 15% of that figure for my advertising budget. So in our example, 10% of 5,000 is around $500. Now, right before this, we established that our first campaign was going to be three weeks in duration. From here, you simply divide your marketing budget, which we established to be 500, by the number of days in your campaign, which we figured to be 21. After that simple calculation, you're left with 2380 for a daily budget. Now, at this point, your campaign has been running and you're starting to see clicks, conversions, and impressions start to come in. This is a good time to look at the data and really see where they're coming from and how you can maybe tweak things here and there. It's important to know that the daily bids will change, so you'll actually have to go back into the campaign manager and make sure you're checking your daily budget and also your bids. If your bid goes up by 10 cents, I would highly recommend you go in and change that bid to accommodate what's currently happening in the PPC Amazon market. Now in the future, I plan on making a different video completely separate from this that really goes in detail and explains all the different data and how to efficiently change certain things within your campaign manager to increase your conversion rates. I hope you guys found this video valuable and it really broke down a solid approach to your next Amazon PPC. If you felt like I left anything out in this video or if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to give you an answer. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.